ambulance drone could help save lives faster. A Texas-based design firm has illustrated its idea for an ambulance drone, which could help transport patients faster and more efficiently than regular ambulances or helicopters. The ambulance drone is modeled after a standard quadcopter. It is roughly the size of a compact car. The drone can follow a GPS signal or be controlled by a pilot. It is able to travel above traffic and other obstacles on the ground, allowing the drone to arrive at its destination faster than regular ambulances. Given its relatively small size, the drone is able to land almost anywhere. There is enough space inside for one patient and a medical worker. It can either travel on autopilot or be controlled by a pilot remotely in the event of difficult takeoffs and landings. A single pilot can also control an entire fleet of ambulance drones remotely. Although the company believes the ambulance drone is a feasible concept, it admits the cost for each device could be in the million dollar range. Here's some other drones that are designed to save your life. Ambulance drones to save heart attack patients within minutes. Dubbing it, quote, Ambulance Drone, a student at a Dutch university has developed a flying defibrillator that can respond within minutes after a heart attack sets in. The Ambulance Drone is equipped with a camera and a GPS navigation system. Powered by six propellers, the drone can reach a maximum speed of 100 km per hour. When someone suffers a heart attack, bystanders can call an emergency hotline and an Ambulance Drone is next dispatched. Using a camera mounted on the drone, a staffer can then instruct bystanders to attach the defibrillator to the patient. The drone can transport the device to someone in need inside a 12 km zone within one minute, significantly increasing the survival rate of patients. Apart from the defibrillator, the developer hopes that the drone will be able to carry other medical supplies, such as oxygen masks and insulin injections. The developer aims to create an ambulance drone network in the Netherlands within five years. New York Fire Department to deploy drones to fight fires. New York's fire department will soon have new eyes and ears above the city. The NYFD is currently testing drones that will help firefighters get a better look at how to fight fires before sending in humans. The $85,000 drones painted fire engine red weigh roughly eight pounds and can move vertically and swivel 360 degrees. They will be attached to a 200 foot long tether. They can capture both standard video and infrared images, which are then transmitted to a portable command center so firefighters can see what they're up against. It takes two firefighters to operate each drone, a pilot to man the controls and an observer to keep the area clear. The first drone will be deployed in the coming weeks followed by two more before the end of the year. The drone idea was conceived after a deadly 2014 gas explosion in East Harlem, when an amateur drone operator flew his drone in to help firefighters get pictures of the damaged site. Parcel copter drone to deliver medicine to German Island. German logistics firm DHL has been given permission to use a drone to deliver parcels to Eust Island, the first time an unmanned aircraft has been authorized to deliver goods in Europe. The four-rotor parcel copter will carry medication and other urgently needed objects that weigh up to 1.2 kilograms. It takes up to 30 minutes for the drone to fly to Eust Island, which is 12 kilometers off Germany's northern coast. Because of privacy and safety concerns, the drone will not fly over houses on the island. German authorities have created a restricted flight area that will be used only by the drone. The trial for the drone will begin on Friday and is expected to continue until mid-October.